You ever searching for those woo from the chairlift? Work on your technique. Hi, my name is Morgan. Uh, I'm a CSA level four. I've been teaching for 27 years, skiing for oh, roughly 42 years. Our family's been passionate about skiing ever since uh, I can remember. After today, what I think you're gonna find is that your legs will have more energy at the end of the day. Uh, I think that's one of the main things. When we do these things, we can ski longer, we can ski faster, we're safer on snow. I always loved watching those effortless skiers go down and I always thought to myself, man, I wanna be one of those guys. I'm starting to hear that, those comments from people I teach and uh, they're going, wow, you make that look easy. And I, it's kind of like a big pat on my back, which is, you know, good job, 10 year old Morgan, you've done it. So one of the key things about being able to ski longer and safer is how we use our legs. If I brace and I keep that leg straight and tense the whole time, that's quite tiring on my body. I wanna encourage the body to bend and to absorb some of that pressure. If you're gonna notice the first couple turns, I'm gonna keep that long leg and I'm gonna to start to brace against the snow. This is very tiring on my thighs. But if I start to manage the pressure and bend the ski, I now I get a mini break every time I start the next turn. Right here, I get a break. Here, I get a break. Or if I'm bracing, that spike is just gonna stay up the entire time. But just like a heartbeat, I wanna have a, a relaxing stage, a relaxing stage. And that relaxing stage allows my muscles and my body to recuperate so that it's not a consistent effort, it's a bunch of mini efforts all the way down the hill. So, you know, the other cool thing about skiing this way is it's safer too. So as we navigate the mountain and navigate the slope, obstacles might come in or I might have to pull out some short turns to get out of the way of somebody. As my legs are short, I can navigate that. If my legs are long, all I do is twist and I can't move out of the way. So again, as you can see, having access to all my joints allows me to manipulate the turn shape as well. When you want to start to ski up there on more difficult slopes, you have to build up to that, right? That analogy of crawl before you, you walk idea. That's this terrain. I think of it much like a cookbook. When I add different amounts of each ingredient and taste it, it's gonna give you a different type of flavor in your mouth. So down here, it's, it's very much the same thing. If I add nothing but twist of the ski, it's harder for me to manage speed because I'm at the mercy of the pull of the slope. But if I start to add in a little bit more grip or tip of the ski, I start to be able to manage the pressure through turn shape, through edge angles at the top of the turn and bottom of the turn. So now that we're up here and the train's a bit steeper, the consequences are gonna come out a little bit more. So as I go down here, if I add more twist at the top of that turn, as you see, I start to go down the hill with very little control. But if I add some grip and direction to my scheme, especially out here at the part of the turn, here and here at the end, I create a much rounder turn shape. I'm more controlled as I go down. By working on your skills on, on easy terrain, you're mitigating the consequences and you can apply those skills as it gets more difficult or as it changes to bumps, slush, or powder. If I can manage that on a gentle slope, I know I'm gonna have the right skills to do it when it gets a little bit steeper or when it gets bumpier. One of the things I, have, I find fun about skiing is being able to be in control of every aspect of my turn. And you know what? 
come with me and let's have some fun together on the slopes. And one of the things that I like to think about is I have this toolbox and in my toolbox, I have these things that I can pull out as I need them. So I can pull out the tools required to do short turns, long turns, maybe some medium turns. And then I bring back into long and I just play around with the tools that I've developed. I want to play in the train I'm in. So if you want to ski longer and safer, have access to more difficult terrain, and most importantly, have fun, work on your technique, and you'll be able to command every aspect of the mountain and enjoy your day even more. <laughs>